nobody told you as of yet today, I love you. If nobody told you as of yet today, I am proud of you. You're going to continue to achieve anything you set out to do. You understand me? Also, chosen ones, as you already know, I do have to give you a brief disclaimer, all right? So, I only want you to take what resonates, and I want you to leave the rest behind, all right? I don't want you trying for certain scenarios for you. If you don't happen to get your confirmation through me, I guarantee you won't get it through somebody else, all right? So, be patient with your process. Also, as you already know, my voice is too raspy to be whispering, all right? So, this is about the time that you probably want to go ahead and hit your volume. Now, also, I do want to say excuse me in advance because I could be huffing and puffing like baby D. I could be out here um, sniffling. My allergies is a wilding at this point in time, all right? So, excuse that in advance because I don't want to be sniffling all up in the mic, but you know how that is, all right? So, chosen ones, there's a few messages that I am getting called to relate to you. Um, the first being chosen ones. I want you to be cautious of the people that you have around you as well as that you extend yourself to all right because although this is a season where you finally will be reaping everything that you um deserve and earn so you're going to be rewarded there also are certain siren energies certain serpent energies that are trying to seek out you too now i'm going to explain this to you all right so um we'll discuss as far as again you'll know what timeline you're on all right now the first chosen ones there are certain individuals that um, were extending themselves to you, so they were attempting to pursue you, right? But you know how, as far as certain people will start endorsing um, certain, we'll give an example pertaining to um, presidency, right? So I'm not getting into politics. It is what it is. You do what you do, but hear me out, right? So you know how you'll so all of a sudden hear about certain celebrities or certain individuals that start endorsing a specific president. Um, a lot of them did as far as Trump back in the day, and I'll give you an example, right? And and this is in reference to them wanting leniency or them wanting that person to work on behalf of either getting them out of a sticky situation or somebody that they knew out of a uh, sticky situation, right? So one, I want you to realize right now, there are certain dark deities and entities, certain individuals that what they were building is now getting destroyed because of um, the foundation that they built it on. So these are the people that was out here scamming. These are the people that was out here lying, cheating, deceiving, um, acting demonic. These were those demons, right? Now that it's the end of an evil ever, everything that they thought that they built up is now starting to fall apart for them. They're starting to get that karma for what they was doing, right? So these are the people that were sending magic towards you to try to stop finances from coming through for you. Now they're starting to have finances that are at a loss. Now, they have certain um, things that are coming that they're barely staying, staying afloat. So, a lot of these individuals will be getting evicted. A lot of them, they didn't lost their cars. They ain't unable to do the things that they was doing, so on and so forth. So, they have karma coming. So, a lot of them, again, this is the federalities getting them. So, if you were a part of that scamming, regardless if that was that PPP, that Navy Federal, that ATM shit, whatever the case may be, there's karma and consequences coming to you. There's nothing that that you escaped pertaining to it. So these individuals who were using other people's name that were doing certain foul things, your karma is coming. There's no way that you can escape it because God told you that you shouldn't have been doing that in the first place, right? So um, I'll say this. Pertaining to their certain individuals that right now they're starting to go through certain karmic events. So they're going to seek out you. You are somebody who are in your divine energy. So God really rocks with you because I will need to let you know God turns his back to certain people who turn their back to him. God's not somebody who's going to keep rewarding bad behavior in a sense. So if you sold your soul out, if you sold yourself out pertaining to the demonic energies that you got warning after warning, but you continue to um, befriend your enemies, whatever the case may be just know that you're a part of that um squad you chose your side so therefore you'll have common consequences that come from that too that's almost like a rico case energetically against you right so i'll say this let me get back to it with this being said there are certain people that are going to try to seek out you because they know that god's favor was is within you they also know that you were able to relay certain things that are coming into fruition so they want you to put them on and how they can escape certain fate so there are certain individuals that they may be coming to 
to you and you may feel like these individuals have good intentions towards you. You could feel like they respect your gift. Oh, they're asking questions. They're so inquisitive. Whatever the case may be, the whole time, these are monitoring spirits. These are individuals that were, some of them were sent by people that you used to be connected with to seek out you, to try to um, sabotage you, to still have a hold of you, to still have you part of their demonic um, energy, whatever the case may be. Other people chose, so that's that handler energy. Some of you don't even realize that there are certain people that you have really extended yourself with, whether whether or not that was sexually, mentally, spiritually, energetically, and these individuals had ill intentions. They were sent in to deter you. They were sent in to destroy you. They were sent in to attach certain dark entities back towards you, right? So you have to be mindful. So is this a soulmate or is this a siren? You have to know. And it's not just people romantically. There are certain fake friends. There are certain people that um, are going to extend certain job positions where, again, they're monitoring spirits. These people are here to watch you. You disconnected from the past people that were trying to plot on you. So now they sent somebody else in in order to try to still sabotage you. So be mindful, okay? Now, with this being said, the um, monitoring spirits, they come in various forms. You have to realize at times you will continue to encounter the same demon in disguise until that demon is destroyed. So right now, a lot of the people who have karma coming to them based upon the um, events that they did. So again, that's that black magic, doing death magic, trying to do love spells to keep certain people bound. That's a violation, Diddy. All right. That's like you um, putting certain shit in people's drink. That's like you trying to, again, um, you violate it. So now you're about to get a violation, too. OK, so with that being said chosen ones um there are certain people that were attacking you trying to attach to you that are now having karma and consequences come through okay so again it comes in various forms now with this being said because these um demons are getting destroyed all of that, the demon's um, energy is in the air. So because their vessels are getting knocked out, so these are people that are starting to, um, a lot of deaths that are going to occur, right? Because they know, those demons no, have, um, no longer have access to those um, vessels that certain people are allowing them to have access to, that's your body. That you keep having sex with somebody who's a demonic-ass individual, a Jezebel spirit. You were giving them your vessels. So whenever they wanted it, they um, had it in a sense. Whenever they needed to reach charge they used you for it right there's some people that were using you for your energy that was draining you so when you lived with these individuals when you were around these individuals you was exhausted you were tired you were run down you ain't want to do nothing for yourself anymore you started to lo lose your shine you started to lose your um glow whatever the case may be it's because these individuals were energetically draining you right you were speaking life into them but speaking life into them left you almost lifeless you understand so just know certain things are starting to get um, presented pertaining to you. You're starting to make um, sense of certain people that you had around you. You're starting to pay attention to the patterns, right? So what um, this will be equivalent to chosen ones if you for, um, lost your credit card, right? So Or your debit card. Now, some of you, you got the notification. So if somebody swipes your card, you know automatically what's going on, right? So that's certain individuals where you got your intuition. So every time something um, seems a little off you feel that energetically it could be somebody's mood it could be as far as oh the rain's about to start the storm's about to come whatever the case may be a lot of us have that gift right well not a lot of us some of us have that gift okay because these demons don't so you have your intuition okay um again that would be like your notifications that's that energy shift that you feel like uh something ain't right or so and so i feel like somebody's trying to send some something in whatever the case may be those are your antennas in a sense right so this is your notification for your debit card now stay with me okay now your energy is the finances that's actually on the card right so that's that money so your um wealth is within you that's your soul that's your energy okay so a lot of these people look like they got it like that and they broke as shit they got a um a beautiful piggy bank in a sense but ain't got nothing in it okay so hear me out with this being said, there are certain individuals that um, you could feel when certain things are deducted. So this is equivalent to your debit card um, getting charged. And you're like, wait a minute. It's talking about I just swiped to this place and you know darn well you wasn't there, right? So that's like you feeling sad and you like, I don't have nothing to be sad about. What's going on? You feeling mad and you like, there's nothing to be mad about. I was just doing well. Like there's certain energy shifts. That's that notification, correct? So, with that being said, chosen ones, once you get that notification, you 
look and you check and you like, wait a minute, your card's missing. So that's you realizing like your energy's missing in that area. Your motivation's missing in that area. Now you got a headache with that person, whatever the case may be, right? Hold on, babies. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Because I want to make sure there's nobody that's negatively distracting you. So hold on. All right, we got it. Just making sure, babies, okay? Because we, I need everybody to be on the same accord. So, with this being said, now, chosen ones, um, you get that notification that something's off. You look, you see there's certain charges to your card. So, you get the notification that something's off with the energy. All of a sudden, you look, and you see certain things that don't make sense. Again, that's you being mad when you shouldn't. You was just feeling happy. That's you feeling sad when you shouldn't. You was just feeling happy, whatever the case may be, correct? So, chosen ones, um, once you sit there and see that there were certain swipes to your card, certain swipes to your energy, what do you do? The first thing that you are going to do is make that call, right, to the customer service in a sense. So, that's equivalent to you going to God and asking God, like, what's going on? You bringing it to God's attention. So, this is you praying to God, like, God, I ask you you to reveal what's going on behind the scenes i ask you to reveal who's working against me i ask you to um reveal who is with me whatever the case may be correct so you make that call now chosen ones i say this because some of y'all before you even make that call to customer service you try to check for your card you try to check for your energy so you try to check to see where was the last place that i had it at right so this is equivalent to you um Again, seeing what mood change happened and what you did to do it, right? So this would be equivalent to you felt good up until you had that phone call with your friend. You felt good up until you was around this person and they drained your energy again. So when you sit there and see certain deductions from your car, the first you're going to see is like, where is my car at? Where is it at? So you're looking to see where your energy at. Where is the last place that you had it at? You felt good before you made that phone call. So maybe you left it at that person's house. Your energy is with somebody else. Or where's the last place that you've seen it at so that's equivalent to you going to the last place that you were retracing your tracks to see exactly what's going on pertaining to that right um seeing exactly what was the difference so some of you are starting to realize that um when's the last time that you really felt yourself when's the last time you felt confident when's the last time that you wanted to pour into you when's the last time that you felt ambitious when's the last time that you felt beautiful when's the last time you felt successful when's the last time you've seen successes whatever the case may be you have have to ask yourself these questions you have to go back and retract right so chosen ones once you sit there and realize that okay well um this is where i left it at so you could go to so-and-so's house um the person that you was at and you could ask them like yo are you someone so you could bring it to their attention that um you know that somebody's sending black magic to you because energetically you know that the last place that you were was with them when you started to feel certain differences or god will point you in a direction like where does it say it was swiped okay it's swiped at this store that's equivalent to swiping at this person's house that you wasn't at right this is equivalent to you swiping, um, you seeing a swipe for your card and you're like, wait a minute, I wasn't there. Okay, well, your sister then deducted your energy. Your mother deducted your energy. You're going to see exactly what's going on. So if you're feeling sad, you thinking about who in your life um, was sad to around you that could be rubbing that energy off on you. Or if you know that you um, have a good partner and all of a sudden you thinking about a cheater, deceiver, a liar, who was just talking about that? Who Or pay attention and think about who starts discussing that that's how you know the energy's getting drained from them so god will show you signs and synchronicities on who's swiping your energy in a sense right but say you um still don't have it clear where they can't tell you exactly where it was right um or you have an idea that people are sending things to you but you're not exactly sure who it is um you have an idea that people have ill intentions that somebody's watching you somebody you feel all of these things but say you do not physically see it or you didn't backtrack and you still couldn't come back across your your energy in a sense guess what happens that's when you can call customer service and what are you going to do cancel out that card so that's equivalent to you going to god and you telling god like god disconnect me from anybody with ill intentions towards me go ahead and disconnect me from anybody who's speaking ill on me anybody who's sending black magic my way i ask you to get revealed and you know that god's going to handle it you don't even wish that on them because you'll get karma like them for wishing something negative you simply say i wish you the life you deserve which means that every Everything that they sent out, they going to get back. So if they were sending black magic, they going to receive that. If they were sending ill intentions, they going to receive that. But if they were sending love and light, that's cool. They going to get that back, right? 
net just like you so again chosen ones you call the customer service you calling the guy like i'm calling back my energy that's you um getting a new card so that's everything that was deducting from that those subscriptions that you forgot to cancel that's those connections with people that you didn't close the cycle you may have ghosted them but you never told them like it's over i'm no longer you cannot leave doors open okay so if you left doors open and you didn't have certain closure or you kept it in their head that they still had an option to come back in a sense guess what happens that's those subscriptions that you got getting deducted from your card and you like damn so that's that apple taking out that 9.99 when you needed it at that time that's like that subscription that's taken out 20 something whatever the case may be and you're like where is it coming from you gotta call customer service now you gotta get a new card so that's you calling your energy back that's you going to god you cleaning out the um energy right so chosen ones that means that anybody who had access to the old you um because god gave you a new card he gave you a new view he gave you um as far as a clear out right so anybody who had access to that old card their um purchases are getting declined so that's those individuals who were coming back in your life, in and out energy, every time they needed the rebirth of your energy. Because um, some of you don't even realize they really were doing magic on you, siphoning energy from you to give and gift to another individual. So they were using your energy to build somewhere else. That's them again, using those bricks, as I stated, like the bricks that you have for you. Thank you, babies. Um, they were given to other individuals. This is them coming to you sexually to drain you. They were Jezebel spirits. They were there to put certain anchors in you they were there to attach certain things on you you understand so um that the negative had access that they can keep like a un like a little traffic and shit in a sense right so you pull, um, pull back your energy. You started to heal you. You went to God. He started to reveal who wasn't for you. Now, at this time, chosen ones, it may seem like everything's hitting you at once, right? Um, this person's um, revealing that they not nothing. This person is doing this. God is making sure that everything that's getting, um, everything that was not for you is getting cleared out from it, right? So with this being said, chosen ones, it may feel like everything's happening once you're everybody showing their ass at once everything God's clearing it out because why would he have you heal from this and then he knows that in um, two days you're going to have to heal from something else so he's revealing in large intervals who's not for you so this could be your job you um, quitting your job getting fired from your job at this time this could be you um, certain friends that are foes you find out your friend was a fraud you find out that the person that you were pursuing wasn't shit that they had ill intentions when they they initially come in you're going to find a lot of truths but you may feel like it's too much but think about this why would you want to be good this is like you finally getting happy just for somebody to come the next day and say something else no god's like we're gonna handle this all together so because you're defeating that demon you're not just befriending them you're not just um becoming them you're out here beating these demons the fuck up chosen one so because you're beating these demons god's going to, and you're setting your boundaries anybody with similarities to um, those demons that you've encountered because you have to realize you've been encountering the same demon in different disguises the same demon that was in your mother father sister brother your friend it's the same demon they're considered monitoring spirits thank you baby so there are certain demons that intentionally are getting sent towards you that you feel like oh well this is a better individual for you but it's the demon dressed up differently and now they're coming back um dressed up better than before to throw you off right so this would be equivalent to you know those old cartoons right where um, the Johnny Bravo, um, I'm a Hey Arnold type of child. You know what I'm saying? I was the Hey Arnold type myself. But um, this would be like when cartoons first started off and like they technology wasn't like that. So it kind of looked bur like blurred and all of that type energy. You understand? Um, this would be equivalent to that, Chosen Ones. Okay, so um, just pay attention. It's a different. Things are coming to you clearly now. You're seeing things clearly now. But there's certain individuals, again, Chosen Ones, where... They're coming in with ill intentions. Now hear me out. So with this being said, because guys, like, let's keep going. So I'm going to keep going because somebody needs to hear this today, okay? Um, I want you to realize that with you realizing who's not for you, everybody who, again, um, now I'll say this again as far as um, pertaining to the people. There are certain demons that are in different disguises. So this would, again, would be like old cartoons or the old characters, how back in the day, they, they shit wasn't really like that. We'll get into that another time. That's a trippy talk time we'll have. But um, now, all of a sudden, they get better at the character. They get better at dressing it up. It didn't... Um, 
changed over the course of years, right? So they get a better disguise this time. That's what they do. The demons will re the same demon will reoccur until you fully disconnect yourself from that cycle. Okay. So I want you to realize that they just get better at their disguises. But in due time, God will bring in certain storms, certain winds to lift the veil upon them, or these individuals will break character. But you have to pay attention because some of y'all have been seeing or feeling intuitively that these people aren't for you. But because you know that God said that he has love hidden towards you because you know that you had certain things that you had to heal from from before you sometimes will accept the bare minimum you'll time sometimes accept the karmic again thinking that it's a person that you're supposed to give an opportunity to and guys like do they check everything off the list does it make sense for you to be with a person like this so if you're a lover now yin and yang energy that's correct of course um you may be more of a homebody this person could be a little bit more social but they are going to be a homebody too you guys are going to have the same foundation, the same morals. This is not going to be, um, you're somebody who is modest and this person out here showing all of this shit. That's not the type of dynamic. That is a karmic trying to be with a divine partner and you would have to play a parental figure to them. You would always have to raise them instead of them raising their vibration. Okay. So because you're disconnecting, you have to go to the source of the problem. So think about this. Some of it, it does come from your mother or father, your childhood, okay? You're a grown-ass woman or man now. So, although what you went through was not right about you, why would you keep repeating this in your head, replaying it in your head, keep saying you are the way that you are because of them, when you're giving them power over you, when you are no longer that child that is bound to stay around these individuals. You are not on no house arrest. You are not on no soul arrest. You are somebody who actually can go fly away now. You can actually get away from them. So, if you're telling your inner child that it's okay for what they did because these same people who did some messed up things i'm talking about violations you are forgiving them and still have them facing them every day and you're telling your inner child who feels uncomfortable because they told you what those people did to them and that's like you still allowing that to be around them why would you violate your just like you those people who seen what you went through some of y'all were sexually abused by certain people that your family your mother and presented your father whatever the case may be your uncle your whatever there's certain violations and guess what they tell you you to forgive and forget and you're still around the people who violated you so you're telling your inner child that it's okay that this monster's around why would you do that you'll get karma because that's like you seeing something that happened and not speaking up so your inner child was there you was present when that happened and you're not speaking up on behalf of them you're allowing that person to get away with what they did and they didn't end up doing it to somebody else's kid that you could have stopped that had you spoke up see chosen ones now don't go and be hard on yourself about your child but we talk talking about right now you are no longer that baby nor that fool so therefore there's you're not going to keep getting protected by certain individuals or certain energy and karma coming through if you know better but you don't do better you understand and i'm not talking about as far as now violation that's that's something that you couldn't control i'm talking about being around these people having your children around if they didn't protect you why would you have your children around these individuals if they cause mental stress for you why would you have these individuals around you why would you even be upset that they're not accepting you right now when what they did stop that what a, what type of you can see it for everybody else, but you can't see it for yourself. Cut that shit out. So, everybody, I understand um, you're taught to be loyal to your family. Absolutely not. Because sometimes, sometimes your family's not who you come from, but often who you're led to. Sometimes you're only placed in their life for them an opportunity to break through from that cycle. If they choose not to, that's on them. You keep moving so you can get back to your people. You understand me? So, with that being said, chosen ones, you are no longer going to allow these individuals to be your handler, where they're out here projecting energy towards you having you mold so they're creating had this mold for you to fit that benefits them they don't want you to talk back because it's disrespectful but not because it's disrespectful it's because it triggers them and they don't want to live in a truth innocence so there's certain people that want you to shut up because you talk too much you're asking them questions that they can't answer you're making clarity to come through there's some people that want to stop you from being successful because they didn't persuade themselves that they couldn't do it so they told themselves that because 
because they had kids, they couldn't be successful, do this, that, and the third, and you are doing it. So you're finally stepping out of that spell, like, oh, nah, you include yourself. Don't speak that shit on me. You understand? So them telling you that nobody's going to want you. I didn't heard that. Before I even had children, I had sisters who had children that um, they were encouraged that, oh, nah, nobody's going to want you because you have these children. And guess what I told them? Before I even had children myself, I'm like, baby, don't you know that the right person is going to step up? Don't you know that the right person is going to be seeking somebody who is fruitful and can multiply, that the right person is going to be aligned with you and accept them just like they were there? Sometimes you don't realize the children that you give birth to energetically belong to another individual, but you brought it towards through this person. And you may feel like nobody's going to want you because you had children. And I can tell you personally, that's a lie because I got a squad. I got four of it. There are certain individuals that were trying to pursue me when I was even still pregnant. Like, ew, no thank you. But that's a lie. There are certain people that want a big family. I said, I want a village. That's what I want. That's what I'm going to get, but with the right individual, right? Now, with this being said, chosen ones, um, they'll try to persuade you that, um, or some of y'all on the opposite. There are certain people that'll tell you not to accept this person because they have children, not realizing that this person is, again, somebody that God trusted to um, repopulate the world with divine children, not get rid of this negative, because as the evil's clearing out, all the seeds of the evil's getting cleared out as well. God's like, nah, I need this person to plant positive seeds. So that mother, she's a motherly type of person. She's going to be around her children. She's going to raise them right. She's going to invest in them. She's going to make sure that they are able to produce certain fruits. And she's going to make sure that those fruits, um, they can feed themselves and lineages to come. As far as certain father figures, you're here that you are, don't let nobody downplay you as a father. Anybody who tries to deter you from being a parent is not somebody who's supposed to be in your life. So that partner that's encouraging you, oh, you around your children too much, you never got time for them, if you can't bring them into your circle, around your children, then you don't need to be with them, it's not no choices you pick and choose, absolutely not you're going to get everything that you deserve, so that means you're going to have time with your children, time with your boo too, of course you might have some time personal with your lover but your children are a part of you, anything that you have to sit there and run from in order to run to swap something else um, as far as get give up the people who are supporting you that believe in you, that you gave um, bird to that's not for you you understand me so don't be selfish don't let the devil try to um now again taking care of yourself is different but you completely abandoning them that's different for certain two circumstances they ain't talking about adoption and all of that you did what you did that's you had you understand that's what different i'm talking about the people who the people who's abandoning now, with me saying this, you have to realize certain masculines or feminists, too, based upon your preference. Um, there's some people around you that will discourage you and tell you not to be connected to this person because they have children. Whole time, that's the demonic entity. Because even God, now, I don't know specifics pertaining to the Bible, but we're going to talk about something, right? In the Bible... Um, Joseph, right? Oh, uh, no, no, let me not give no names. Um, in the Bible, let's just say Murray, right? If you recall, Murray had Jesus, and Jesus was really God's kid. Now, I believe that was like Joseph, well, whoever the name may be, um, that Murray was at, with at that time, right? So, what does that mean? There are certain people that helped bring the baby in that, again, are not really their parents parents to them, right? God will have somebody else step up and be that position. So I want you to realize again, chosen ones, don't allow certain demonic energies because some of these people don't want you to play a position because um, of the abundance that's going to come with you going to this type of person. So they'll send handler ends. So they'll send demonic energies to try to restrict you, to try to encourage you to um, go to a different individual, right? For their own personal reasons. So they'll tell you, nah, don't choose that person. They come with too much. Whole time, what comes with them is abundance, protection, knowledge, intellect, vision, love, um, somebody who's going to boost you up, somebody who's going to heal you, somebody who's going to reveal who's against you. So they'll try to tell them, nah, don't take that person because they come to it with too much, not realizing you should have asked what too much was because whole time it was, they didn't want you to have too much knowledge, too much abundance, too much. So they'll try to persuade you not to deal with that person. Now you done blocked your blessing. Now you done sat there and prayed for certain abundance to get presented. You didn't pray 
pray for certain miracles to occur and you ain't even realize it was coming from the person that God presented. He sat there and hid everything that that person was going to give you within them so that other people who were trying to attack you couldn't take them, whatever the case may be. So some of y'all got played out of your own blessings and you can't get those back. Some of y'all done sat there and missed. Now, I ain't talking about you divine ones. Now, has there been situations where your ass didn't listen to God? Yes, but you ain't missed out. He sent certain lessons before your true divine one, before that true position you're going to be in. Those was lessons so you ain't ruin your opportunity like these demons, okay? So, with that being said, a lot of past people are going to feel the regret of their decisions. Oh, well, now they shit's going to hell. Now they stuff is crumbling down, but... They, again, didn't want you when you were the person that was boosting them up. They didn't like that you was in your divine energy. They didn't like that you was telling them to be the best that they can be. They didn't like the work that came with you. They didn't like that they had to wait for your value. They didn't like that, right? Because I tell you that you're like a collector's item. In time and with time, your value only rises. Sometimes you have to realize the fact that you're not easily accessible. That makes your price go up. You understand? So you're worth because you haven't been ran through. Now, again, if you have, you a different version of you so you're not even the same person that you was when you was getting ran through you understand so chosen ones don't work against your past who are you now where are you headed you understand so this is not the disrespect y'all who could have been more sexual you learned your lesson cut that shit out though because this is this warning i'm telling you now there's not no more um looking over Jezebel spirits. God is taking them out. So there's these individuals that you are intuitively feeling are cheating on you. Do not sleep back with these individuals. They are coming in contact with things that they can't get rid of. Now, if you already got some shit, I ain't disrespecting you. But if you could go back time, your ass knew that you wouldn't want that, right? Correct? So we're going to save people from having to experience what you're experiencing, correct? All right, cool. Just making sure, all right? So with that being said... This is the time. Do not be sleeping around. Do not be out here overly messing around, sexually messing around. Cut that shit out. You understand me? And I say this because there are certain individuals that right now, the next person that they hit, they're going to come back with some shit that they can't get rid of. Diseases and demons. And I ain't talking about, oh, you can take this pill that come away. I'm talking about they going to get certain shit that it's going to be hard to miss. All right? Do not do it. There are certain people from your past that their intentions was to get back with you, to either get you pregnant or get pregnant by you. Do not do it. They come with diseases and destruction. Do not do it. They're going to try to come with lustful energy and desires to try to deter you from the person that God is about to present to you. Do not ruin this. You hear me? This, will not, this is not the time. So if you feel a sexual energy, you cut that shit. You better pray that away. You better go walk it off. You better how they say walk it out, walk it out. You better do that shit. You better lean with it, rock with it, whatever you gotta do, but you try and pop, lock, and drop it, do the dance then, all right? Do the dance, but do not do the do with these demonic ass individuals. I'm so serious, and I'm not trying to be fun. This ain't you even drinking at the people. Don't be hitting no L's at the people. Don't be hitting no, um, some... I call them fugs, um, cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? Don't be out here hitting Lucy's at the motherfucker. Do not do it. Um, this is not the time for these, um, you to be out here wanting to do some trippy shit. So don't be out here just popping pills and doing all that extra shit. You don't need that. You a trippy vibe. You understand? Anybody want to, um, trip out? In a sense, see, I need to learn how to hit that little dance. You know what I'm saying? But somebody want to trip, you are that trip. You are that person that, again, you got a natural high element. Now, if you smoke well, that's your business. I ain't talking about that. That's the natural shit. I'm talking about this is not the time to be doing no extra, okay? Um, because your mind, you know those um people that you see around the way that they took one bad pill and they lost their mind and they never was okay? This is that time, okay? Energy, these demons are trying to find a new vessel to go to because the people that they were in are now getting wiped out. Um, they're no longer, so them demons that needed to keep getting fed with sex and drugs and drinking, well, now they can't get fed with sex because now the person that they were in has diseases, so nobody's going to sleep with them. So now, guess what? They can't get fed like that. There are certain people that um, your handlers were encouraging you to drink, we're encouraging you to um, do certain destructive things. You would stay drunk then. You like a, jam, a damn drunk uncle. Nothing's worse than a damn unk drunk. Well, there are some things, but they all... Because <laughs> I was about to say, wait a minute, because some of these motherfuckers... Is, but, mm-mm. 
I'll say this. Be mindful. Because now they got that energy where they having to drink so much. Them livers is on low. All right? The shit ain't right. Um, Be mindful of that. So don't be drinking after everybody. Be mindful of people who keep trying to get you drunk too. Like, oh, nah, let me unwind you. Motherfucker, I don't need that to unwind me. You about to get wind the fuck up. About to wind that damn hand up to call 911. What are you talking about? So, there's certain people, chosen ones, watch that. As far as eating after them, mm-mm. I'll eat at home while I eat before I come. No, thank you. I will eat before I arrive, motherfucker. I'm so, this and uh, I, because you'll be at your last supper for real. Okay? Now, again, cut it out. Don't be eating after everybody else. Um, pray over your food. Learn to do things yourself. Shit, um, that person that was doing your hair, watch out. Because shorty's just braiding anger, hurt, deceit, demons all in your shit. And you got enough nerve to rock them braids underneath for about uh, four or five weeks. Shit, some is four or five months. Now you wondering why um, your energy's all in a funk. Why you smelling funk from them sour-ass braids, Meek, okay? Now listen, no disrespect because I love Meek Millie's... Uh, Braids, you know what I'm saying, back in the day. And you know I like my free forms. I've been thinking about growing them back. But that sour scout, uh uh-uh, you got mildew, motherfucker, and you wondering why you mad all day. You wondering why you miserable. Cause that scout stinks, okay? Get it together. I know people say, oh, your hair grows more in dirt. Well, let's think about a plant. It takes water and dirt to grow a plant technically, motherfucker. So you gotta have a balance of that. You out here stinky, your face breaking out. You wonder why everybody laying on your pillow now, they face breaking out too. Dirt bumps, motherfucker. So it don't just take dirt to grow something. It takes some water too. Now you're the sour scalp kid, not the sour patch kid. You're the sour scalp kid. Certain, uh uh-uh. Cut it out. As far as certain masculines, get it together. Wash it up. Some of y'all feel like because you ain't went nowhere, you ain't got to wash nowhere. Get it together, funky. And there's some of y'all that's out here been crying and arguing about Funk Master Flex. He sat up in your face for the whole week and he ain't washed his ass yet. That sounds like infection. That sounds like Susie about to be beatboxing like she damn um, slick Rick out this bitch. Okay, she out here. Out, I'm trying to say. Cut it out. So who's out? She out here. Set, beatboxing like Reverend Ryan. She got a cold symptoms now. Now she's coughing, sneezing, leaking, wheezing. You understand? Uh-uh. You keep hearing a damn cat cry. It's your cat that's crying. Motherfucker, you keep talking about, no, it just sounds like something's crying. It's her. Okay? She's saying. I'm just saying. Cut it out. You gotta... You, mm, if he's not washing that pipe, something ain't gonna be right. Okay? Mm-mm. No. How they hands look. Now, I can't say nothing because I like paint, okay? So, I like painting and stuff. So, I don't, my nails don't really be done. They kind of be looking crazy. I'll probably be like, hey, what the fuck she got going? I like painting. I like art, okay? So, why would I go get my nails done? I'm not doing all of that. Look, let me look at them. Now, listen. Now, hus- husband, if you watch it, before... You propose, at least just make sure that my shit's painted. Wait for a day that it's painted or just be like, babe, you know what? Um, let's go get your nails done. Just do it, okay? Because I'm just saying, now don't have me looking crazy. Looking like little symbol paws and shit in the picture. Uh-uh. Don't do it. At least make sure, um, you know, the hands look all right. Ashes. I'm going to have that cocoa butter on deck, all right? I got the lotion as we speak. I'm just saying. So, don't fucking do that to me. And, husband, let me say this too. Husband, because I know energetically you watching. My size ring. Can you just get, like, an eight and a half to a nine? Like, I got long fingers. You know what I'm saying? I'm five, seven and a half, baby. Because, you know, um, I just don't. We're not forcing shit. So, I don't want no ring. Now, you to try to push it on and the shit then got stuck. No, give me a bigger ring because we can always make it smaller. All right? Give me a bigger ring. I don't need a huge rock. That's cool. Maybe give me a, a a a different type of crystal type of ring. I'm cool with that. I like something different. Give me some vintage shit. So, but 
I don't want to force, I'm not forcing nothing else, so give me a loose ring, and I'll get that shit together, okay, so, we'll talk about that, but, um, no chosen ones, I'm serious, get yourself together, also, start prepping yourself right now, um, think about this, again, your energy's starting to come back, some of y'all wasn't feeling like doing shit, some of y'all wasn't feeling like getting cute or nothing, because you ain't want to be bothered with nobody, but you ain't want to be bothered with nobody, because the person that you used to be bothered with, sat there and did energy, um, shifts on you to make you, so you don't even want to attract nobody in, baby, don't you know that you on somebody's radar right now, somebody wondering if you single, or if you got somebody, but they don't know, because the way that you carry yourself, I told you, I talk like my divine masculine right here, because I act like a married woman already, I'm not in everybody's face, no, go home, Roger, swipe or no swipe it, you don't have to entertain everybody who wants to entertain you, you gotta know, again, chosen ones your value, it's not you think you're better than them, but if it don't make sense, if your ass is somebody who's so serious, can't laugh, I like to have fun, I like to smile, I like creative shit, I'm not gonna be with Mr. Uh, be mad all day, no, I'm not gonna be with Mr. you gotta wake up thugging, how they say you, you thugging at breakfast, I don't want that, no thank you, um, sir, if you want a divine feminine, you don't want you don't want a shorty with an ass all out. I'm just trying to say. Because some of y'all are like, oh, I don't care. I like people to want my woman. That's because your ego. That's because you want to feel so fucking important. That's because a real person is not going to want their person with their ass out. And I can say that too. Feminines, we think about that for masculine. I don't need you just posting with the sweat grim, uh, uh, sweatpants. I don't need you out here just showing the pipe print. I don't need you trying to be cute. Who You rocking Daisy Dukes and shit? You rocking a little coochie shorts with no coochie? Cut it out, sir. Okay, we, we don't need our masculine showing the body all too. So, um, that's just not a feminine thing. But we want to see your value because that's going to cause issues. Yes, your partner can protect you, but why, why even put them in that position? You out here showing ass so somebody feel like they can show you attention. Now you're showing signs that you sad or feel offended. Now your person got to show up for you and put them in a situation. No, cut that shit out. Um, it's not cute. You talking about this empowerment, showing your body. That is some stupid shit. Um, no disrespect. Because that's just that Jezebel spirit trying to tell you um, to persuade you to do it willingly. So that's almost like you, um, again, you saying that it's backwards, it's um, reverse psychology. Just like if you're in a partnership and this person is cheating with other people. So you break up with them because they cheating with other people. But they persuade you now so you can only sleep with that person and get your rocks off. So now you feel like you're in control saying, oh, well, nah, we don't go together. I just called them when I need something or when I want something. Dummy. Because now they, you didn't got persuaded to be a professional side chick or somebody who is cool with giving your shit to nonsense. So now they done manipulated you into doing what they wanted you to do and you removed the title yourself. So stop that. There's certain people that, oh, because you're a healer and you can heal people sexually, you having sex with everybody and you passing out fucking demons. Cut it out. You are so, well, certain things shows the ones, yes, you can heal people through sex, but you have to know it's your divine person. That's like you being able to be there that um, patch for them. That's like you being able to be that bulletproof vest for them. You're not supposed to be ex having everybody accessible to it. So some demons will come to you so you save them and revive them from what they're going through, not realizing that what they're going through was intentionally done by God based upon what they did or tried to intend towards you. Stop that shit. Cut it out. You want to say have value in yourself, chosen ones. Now, again, it's not for you to not to be proud of your body. If you show a little bit, cool. But you out here posting pictures where we see more of that ass than we see that face. Come on. What you doing? You out here twerking. You, I ain't got to do all that to let my masculine know. You understand? I ain't got to show off the wagon that I'm dragging to say that that shit's getting drugged. No. You understand? So cut it out, chosen ones. Know your value. You let people know your value before they even get to see what's inside. See, some of this, this is why you get used out of demonics, right? Because certain demons will try to have you prove to them on why they should select you. Or um, what you're going to do for them. So you're trying to tell them, um, oh, that you're good for them. Some of it, no. God makes these individuals make the right decision before they even know what's behind the curtain. So that's like, no, do you, um, do you trust the signs I'm showing you? Do you know everything on your list that you want from your individual? Does it make sense for you to be with can't get right? You said you like to read. This motherfucker can't read out loud. This motherfucker, he got three letters in his name and he didn't learn that name until his ass was almost in high school. Something ain't right. 
Okay, something ain't clicking. You got to date your frequency, motherfuckers. Okay, date your energy. You out here dating can't get right. You got people talking about, oh, she can read the room, but she can't read out loud. If she came here. Now you, the, 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 not, the, the damn what? Now, now you sounding the shit out. Now you, uh-uh. And you wondering why again. Now you got to, you sat there and was praying for birth with um, children with this motherfucker who would have looked like Stitch. Off of Lilo and Stitch, he would have been out here eating walls. And you was out here praying for God to bless. Bless? Girl? Boo? You better cut it out. You talking about, please, God, you want it. God's like, what the, do she know? Huh? Do you know? Um... You had some fucking little trolls out here. I'm just trying to say, mm-mm, then mm-mm, because some things, uh, when I see, it don't feel right. Now, I might just be me, but you know, they look like, some of these motherfuckers are those people where they like, oh, it used to be two twins, but the other twin ate the other one. That sounds like a cannibal. There wouldn't have been no twins then. I'm sorry, no disrespect. Somebody would have been, I know they say no child left behind, but... You talking about a child was out there eating another baby in that damn stomach? That sounds demonic. That sounds like a cannibal. That sounds like uh, he's staying with his father's people. I'm just trying to say. <laughs> That's disrespectful. So I'm just trying to say. So, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because it's like, what? You took a, oh, he survived. Do you see what he did? That was little fucking Cain in there. Off of Cain and Abel. That's who you reincarnated. He out here taking out siblings and shit. Ah, uh ah. -uh. There was enough room for both of them. So, mm-mm. I'm just trying to say. Listen. Mm-mm. They gonna say it's fucked up with they... Yeah. Because, uh-uh. You out here fucking... Does that sound right? I'm th Just like I don't trust people who be eating. Now, I don't eat meat. I don't like meat. That's just something that I ain't like since I was little. I tried it. Um, when I was pregnant, I used to have to eat fish and shit. That's cool, but I don't like. But those individuals, that's like motherfuckers who be eating meat that's still bleeding. I don't trust you. Because if a zombie apocalypse pops off right now, you be biting reg regular shoulders and shit too. Mm-mm. I don't trust it. You eating something that's still bleeding. Dude, you might as well eat the motherfucker. Just go up there and bite shit. We out here blaming the neighbor's dog for biting it. And that might have been you who bit that damn lamb like that. Mm-mm. Something ain't right. I rebuke you. I'm throwing holy water at the screen. I rebuke it. You out here. I don't trust that. Y'all better know that it's a zombie apocalypse spiritually right now. So you better see which one of these motherfuckers is bit. Okay? You letting everybody have act. Uh-uh. Turn around. Lift, shift, step back, spin around. It's going to sound like Simon Says out this motherfucker. Simon said clap three times. Nope, you did it twice. Get the fuck out. Boop. You better know who's bit. Because there's a lot of these people, again, they zombies. Soulless, moralist, loveless. They evil as shit. They look dingy as shit. They look gray as a motherfucker. They look sick, and some of them are. Them demons is really fucking them up. Uh-uh. You better know who you letting in. And if that person around you is somebody who's accepting everybody in your ass getting out too, Miss Margaret, uh-uh. Because you done let a little too much motherfuckers in here. Now Miss Margaret's getting rolled her ass right out too. Nope. Hit the roll, Jack. Now you're getting wheeled the fuck back to where you came. I'll, I'll all them fucking uh, wheels up before you go. Because you got a long ride to go. You better know, individual... Chosen lines. Don't be out here just letting anybody in to your space. And if you are aligned with certain individuals that are letting everybody in to their space, then they got to go the fuck somewhere else. Another place. Nope. She talking about, oh, so-and-so's a good person. Well, look, I'm glad that you said that because y'all about to be partnered up. Both of y'all motherfuckers got to get out. Toodles. I'm... You better watch that, because some of these individuals are secretly hidden by that demon, that demonic shit. They then did certain things behind closed doors. Now they try to come to you because they know what's, um, they about to start morphing into some shit. So they want to come to you so that you could basically, um, get that venom out of them. Get that point. Nah, uh Because -uh. you should have joined the movement before it start moving. Now your ass getting left. 
Now your ass back there stressed. Now everything's crumbling. That's what you get because you were sending certain dark shit. So your enemies are ended, chosen ones. You have to know that. God sat there and had certain things waiting on you, um, waiting to come through for you because he had to destroy certain individuals. Now, I will say this. Some of y'all have people that you encountered um, a brief encounter so this could have been you swiped but then swiped too quick and didn't see their page or you seen that this person was good but um they could have been in a karmic situation they could have had certain people in their area that they needed to see the truth about too there's certain um people big people that had to get locked up uh, locked up so on and so forth before they can come through to you just know you had certain individuals that you could have crossed paths with briefly. I'm talking about you ain't talk to them like that. Some of y'all may not have even held conversations. Um, you ain't see them. You ain't sleep with them. I'm talking about you seen like, dang, they got your attention. They seem like um, somebody familiar, but you kept going. God is going to have certain people get represented to you. Now, it's not just the karmics, but please know the difference. If you need me, I got you. The link's in my bio. I got my 30. Now, I might do my buy one. Let me know first. Do y'all want me to do my buy one, get one freeze for the um, my services today? I'll do it for two days. So what two days of this week do you want it? Let me know. Because a lot of y'all ask me, like, oh, well, y'all wanted to wait till y'all got paid, all of that. I understand. So let me ask you first. For the buy one, get one freeze, all right? Thursday and Friday. We got Thursday and Friday. Okay, Shea Butter. Sh that's my song. Listen, not Ari Lennox, Shea Butter, Today and Tomorrow. Okay, let me see next. See. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Okay, y'all know what? Listen, I got y'all. Um. I'm going to do it from today. What's today? Wednesday? I'll do it from today to Friday. Okay? So, once I get off here, I got a few things I got to do. Then I promise you I'll go ahead and have it available for you. So, the link's in my bio. Okay? It'll be a buy one, get one free. I'll do it from this week, Wednesday to Friday. And then i seen some people ask me for next week. I got you, baby. I'll do it um probably Wednesday to Friday next week, too. Okay? I love y'all. You know I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know I love y'all. And... Again, I appreciate y'all also who have been referring people because it's so funny. One, y'all are, um, I say funny in a good way, right? Because one, some of y'all are feeling good about yourself. You heal it and now you're like, nah, I want to put this person on. I love you for that. I appreciate you because that's less work for you. Some of them was draining from you. So you're like, nah, go ahead. I got that. I'll take over from there. Some of y'all then sent people and it's so funny because when I initially, again, there's nothing that I can, um, don't see pertaining to you, right? I promise you, right? Um, I say this because, there's some people that initially come in and they doubt in or they don't want to know the truth about their situation that they end. And all of a sudden, I'll go ahead and I'll relay something to them like, oh, you remember this happened? Da, 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 da. And they like, oh, damn, now I got your attention now. So God, I got y'all. I appreciate y'all. Like, y'all, I'm turning non-believers into believers. You're healing people. We raising a vibration. This is our ever chosen ones. You understand me? Where the people who did right... This is, I'm telling you, you about to see a shift. And this is not going to be um, for a short period. This is for forever, infinity and beyond. This is the end of an evil ever. God is now having it so no demonic energies are going to be able to be around. It's going to be all light. That's why um, the energy shifted even where earth is. It's being lifted, right? It's getting lighter. Um, demons had us all stuck in the dirt, in the crevices, the muddy water in a sense. See, that's another trippy conversation we're going to have. I promise you. I'll probably um, do a different page on YouTube too so we can have trippy talk for those who want to know some other things behind the scenes that's going on. But also have like you know touch about dude where we talking about what we talking about now but i am gonna have another thing i think i'm gonna do the trippy talk too okay but i love y'all all right just know everything's playing out you raising your vibrations you go around like minds these demons are going to try to flee to you to try to hide they're going to try to um basically hide behind you act like they was with you the whole time uh-uh you are not one of us okay fuck no. Now we about to pop out and show these motherfuckers, okay? So, y'all about to pop out. As far as relationships, this is a time to be private, not secretive. Until you know, um, some of y'all are only getting, um, you're going to be private with your person, but it's about to be public. Um, some of you, what was private about the person who wanted to, um, that was interested in you, now they're about to be able to get presented to you. God had to clear out the karmics because you have to notice, listen, I don't want to be too much longer, but I got to say this too, okay? 
Now, I say this because shows the ones, um, you have to realize that certain things, mm, God said, wait, so I'm going to wait, all right? But just know, I'll probably come on live again tomorrow. Now, Chosen Ones, go to my YouTube. For those who are watching on YouTube, thank you. I love you. Faye, I love you. You, my every, all that, okay? But for those of you who are on TikTok, I ask you just go click on the link in my bio. Go down to YouTube where it says live replays. Click and subscribe. I ask you because you know that TikTok is a limited um, amount of time, as well as shows and ones. We want to push our purpose on other platforms. Now, I will say this. If y'all are wanting to start your business, um, YouTube is it. Instagram is going to end up fizzling out as well. YouTube, God's having everything go back to basics. So you remember there once was upon a time that YouTube was all that we really had. You understand? So we getting back to that state. So push your purpose also in person. You are to use these platforms to push your purpose, not to put on these personas like these damn, these people on TikTok that are calling influencer. And what are they influencing? Chaos, dumb shit, influence you to pay your whole paycheck on them. And they hollering at you because you're not paying enough during the mat. Are you, how they say it, are you cool? Like, are you good? Because some of y'all chosen ones, you out here paying people's rent and they disrespectful that shit. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you? Now I'm reporting you. Now I'm blocking that page. Now I'm, I want my shit refunded. Because who, uh-uh. So y'all better watch it. But some of these people, they, guys removing platforms from them. Um, So TikTok, a lot of these people have lost their fucking mind. You see the demons coming out of them and they've been bleeding off on y'all. Y'all been clicking their page, going there to laugh, not realizing you was ha 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 and some damn demons in your damn pants. You was ha 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 and some demons connected to you. So God is about to humble these people and get them off of these um, platforms. So TikTok, Go to the people that you actually like. So if there's certain um, people that are on there that you like, go to them and find um, ways to personally connect with them. So this could be if they got other platforms, go follow them. If they got a business, go support it. Go purchase something from them. But this is to just... Push your purpose in person as well as on the other platforms is not for you to just make this everything. Because look at some of these motherfuckers yelling at the screen. Do you realize it's almost like just you in a room? Although y'all are on here, we looking at ourselves, 222, as I say this. So we looking at ourselves. So the fact that you out here yelling, screaming, wilding out, foaming at the mouth, got mayonnaise mouth, looking like you got fucking rabies, letting people stress you out when you can literally block. That's as simple. Soon as somebody talk shit, dude, and you out here proving your point, telling, huh? I be like, oh, you are a fucking loony tune. A loony tune. Now, chosen ones, some things are for entertainment. But we get entertained by them. We don't imitate that shit. That's the difference. Some of y'all are entertain, getting entertained and start imitating what you see it. Doing the same facial expressions, the tongue out, this, that, and the third. Now you're, now you living like so. Cut it out. All right. But yes, babies. Um, of course you could book a session with me. Now I will say this: the link is in my bio. Okay, so it'll say book your coaching session. It'll show you all the services that I do have. But I just say give me. Um, don't book until like ten minutes. Um, or if y'all have booked so far, while we on the phone, I'll just tell you this: I'm gonna have um. A buy one, get one free. I'm going to have it in effect probably within the next hour or so, okay? So, at that point in time, I'm going to honor it. So, buy one, get one free. When you click on it, you'll see it'll say, buy one, get one free sale. So, you'll know that that's a part of it and that, that moving forward, that's that, okay? So, just know that. I love you. I appreciate you. If you need me, you know how to reach me, okay? The link's in my bio. I love y'all. Y'all continue to be great. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Curlin. Love you, Dirk. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I appreciate you, too. I love y'all. Y'all continue. Y'all know I love y'all. Continue to be great. If you need me, you know how to reach me, okay? I'm going to post this on YouTube shortly. I'm going to have it on there shortly, I promise, okay? Love you.